Hello and welcome back to another tutorial on introduction to programming. Um, the previous class in dialogue, I think they we created a calculator. Uh, in this class, um, I said I was going to do something a little bit different, just to give you an idea of what you can do with programming. So in uh, for this batch, we're going to look at creating a um a kind of who wants to be a millionaire kind of uh, game or application so um let's go ahead and load up visual studio um i already showed you how to create a new project so you go to file new and select project uh when you select project you're going to choose uh Visual C Sharp. So in the in the class we're learning programming with uh, C Sharp. So make sure in the left tab you select Visual C Sharp, and then you choose Windows Forms application. And uh, finally you select or you choose the name of the application. I think I have I've already I already have Dacia Dacia two. So um we decided to call the uh, application Dacia. So I'll just go ahead and call it Dacia 3 because I already have Dacia, Dacia 2. So I'll give it Dacia 3 um, and select OK. So this will create uh, a Windows form for me. So at, at, at this point, uh, if you just click on play, uh, like I showed you in the class, you already have a base class or a base form. Uh, for your application, the user can do all sorts of things like increase the size, decrease the size, uh, minimize it to the dock or um, uh, taskbar, bring it back up and close, maximize. You can do all sorts of things with it, but it's just that the application is completely empty now. So we'll go ahead and start with the user interface design. So I think we've already done some of these things in the class. I said the first thing we do is we don't want this form one to be displayed on top of the form. So we select the form and go to the properties uh, window and then look for text. Um, and there we can see it's form one written there. So we can change that to whatever we want. I'm going to put that here. And uh, uh, and that's it. Once you uh, type in Dacia and press enter, you get the uh, the text written on top of the form to be changed. The next thing we need, we said we're going to need uh, two labels. The first label, we're going to be writing the questions in in it, and then the second. Actually, we're going to we're going to need three labels. The first label will take the questions. The second label will take um, the information box. That's what will tell you whenever the user clicks, selects an answer, it will tell him whether he's right or he's wrong. Then finally, the third label is going to be displaying our scores. So uh, we'll just go to the toolbox and look for label. You click, hold and drag on top of the form. And uh, that's our first label. Um, we can just Control C to copy it and Control V to paste it. So we're just duplicating the label and I'll do do that again and now I have three labels. So these are the three labels that we're going to need in the application. Then we're also going to need uh, four buttons. We said the four buttons are going to be the um, uh, options for the user to select. So we just go into toolbox click and hold button and drag it on top of the form and that's our button one we can control c control v to paste um, so uh, we're going to do that four times and these are our buttons so uh, for the first label we said uh, we would like to change the name of these objects if you remember in the class, I said, oh, sorry, I double clicked on something. Anyway, 
Um, I said in the first class that every single object is very important and the most important part of an object is, is its name. So uh, we're going to change the names of every single object in this except the form itself. We don't need to change the name of the form. We can just leave it as form one. But the names of this label, button one, button two, label two, button three, button four, and label three, we're going to change all of them because when we start writing code, we're going to need to be calling on them. That will tell the, uh, the computer to do something with that label. So in order for the computer to know what label we're talking about, we have to give it a name. So at the moment, it's, it, it already has a name. If you select this label and go to the properties window and look for name, it's normally hidden under data. Oh, okay. It's just there. Uh, under directly under data bindings you'll see name so at the moment it's called label one but we don't want that we want to give it a, a sensible name that we can easily remember so um we're going to call it questions label i think this is what we called it in the class so notice the way i wrote questions label it's capital l um after that uh, i said we're going to change the initial text in the label so you also go while the label one is still selected or questions label since I've changed the name questions label is still selected you go to the text property and change that to um, we're going to uh, we're going to put uh, questions in there so um, after pressing enter you see questions the text on top of the label changes to questions now this is just what will be displayed statically but the moment we start running the application we expect the questions to take the place of uh, this questions written here so um, let's go ahead and do and um, change the names of these labels the remaining labels so level two is going to be our info label so um, the text in there is going to be blank i'm just going to uh, remove everything so I've backspaced or deleted the text in there and just press enter so you see um, the text has disappeared but it's still selected I'll go ahead and change the name of the label to info label so I've done that and finally the label 3 I'm going to change its name to um, score label uh, score label and press enter so that's the name of this label and what is written inside that's the text we're just going to put score and probably with a um, with a um, with a colon because uh, the reason why we put a colon is we're just going to write uh, the score next to it. Um, next, so if the user has 10 points, we just put 10 beside this score and colon. So um, I think that's it for the labels. Next, for the buttons, we said uh, I don't like the way they're called button 1, button 2, button 3. I would like to call them um, button A, button B, button C, button D. That's the name. And then what will be written on top of them would be A, B, C, D. So let's start by changing the name. Button 1 is going to be, remember, when you're changing the name, it's not the text written on it you're changing. You're changing the name of the object itself. So we'll go ahead and uh, look for name. Here it is. It's called button 1. We're just going to call that button A and press enter. And then this will be called button B. Um, this one will be called button C. Notice that as I'm changing the name, I'm not changing what is on top of it. I'm just changing the name of the object. So this would be button D. And now we go ahead and change what is written on top of uh, what is written on top of the buttons. So button one, uh, what will be written on it will be A. So that's option A. Button two, B will be written. Button three, C will be written on it. And 
and finally 44 um, D will be written on 